All right. Hey, guys. Um, while we are doing our book review, and you are going to be covering most of the definitions for Chapter 3's uh, angles and lines out of the book, uh, Xander really wanted to help you learn the first three pairs of lines together. So even though my expectation is that you're going to get the definitions out of the textbook, we're going to go through three of the line types that you're going to have to understand. Right, Xander? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is this word perpendicular. It's kind of a long word. Yeah, it is a long word. Do you have any idea what it means? No idea. No idea. All right, well, perpendicular refers to two lines that intersect. Um, but, you know, you can't make cute faces over there. They can't see you. Now you can make your face. What's important with perpendicular is that the lines hit at a 90 degree angle. I was thinking of that. They were. Okay, if you can come closer, Xander. There you go. See, now they can all see you. You a little nervous? You know, all these big kids looking. Now, if this is line L and this is line M, we would write L upside down T is perpendicular to M. You see how that looks like a little red angle right there, Xander? Mm -hmm. See how that looks like it's like this? That's why we do that. Now, do you know what they call it when we have two lines that never cross? No. Yeah. Can you picture two things that don't ever cross? Sure. Like, what would that look like? Mm. Need a hint? What did I draw? Uh, someone. My guy never connected. <clears throat> you know, do you see the train? Oh! So, that's why it's on train tracks, right? Mm -hmm. Train tracks go like that. There. They're parallel. So let's say we put some points on here. Can you call that A and B? A. Yep, label it with a capital A. Capital B. Capital B. And C. That's a capital. Capital C. And D. Put the line on that side. Boom. Put the line that way. Okay. There's your D. Now, if I, these lines are parallel, they never cross. And, now, do train tracks go like one up, one down? Or they sit next to each other on the ground? They sit next to each other on the ground. They do, don't they? Unless it's on a bridge. Unless it's on a bridge, but then they're next to each other on yeah. the bridge. Okay. Now we have a special word in class for things that are all on the same surface together. That word is coplanar. So parallel lines are lines that are coplanar. And never intersect. That's and it's a long word. Yeah, it's another yeah. long word. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a pro tip. You'll always spell parallel correctly because you can see the two L's in parallel, just like the two lines we use to show parallel, just like the two lines that are parallel. Ready for the last one? Yep. All right. This is my favorite word of all. I'll write it, you say it, okay? How do you think you say that? Cool. Skew! 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 You know, it's like swim and ew smush together. Yeah! Skew! Now, skew is kind of weird because you can't draw it on a plane. Parallel lines don't cross, right, Xander? Like train tracks. Mm -hmm. Skew lines don't cross either. But they're on different planes. And they're not parallel. So picture if you will. Here is a road going off into the distance. Alright. 
You see the road? Yeah. See, so a car might, and here's the back of a car. There's the back window. There are the kids in the back seat. You see the car there? Yeah. And it's going to drive up the road, right? Mm-hmm. Now, let's take this airplane. Daddy, you're a good artist. Oh, you are a very kind boy. You want your infinity off the shelf, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And so this plane's flying right here. All right, back up so they can see. Now, is the car going to hit the plane? Nope. So do these two lines intersect? Nope. But they're not running side by side because they're not on the same plane. The airplane is up here and the car is down here. Because cars usually go by ground unless it's a secret spy car. Well now, if you want to introduce a secret spy car into this, that changes all of the rules. Yeah. Are we going to do that? No. Okay. So, skew hey. lines. I yeah. had to do that for the cats. Yeah. See, there's always somebody trying to mess up class. There's always one clown, isn't there? Not that much. Oh, okay. So the skew line is here and here. They're lines that are on different planes, so they don't intersect. But they're not parallel, because they're not coplanar. So skew lines are non-coplanar, and they don't intersect. And another long word. There are a lot of long words up here. We only had one short word. What's that? Skew. Skew. All right, guys, the rest of the uh, definitions have to do with angle pairs. Book's pretty clear on that one, so I'll let that pick up for you guys. I'll see you all on Monday. Say goodnight, Xander. Goodnight.